Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are comparing GitHub and GitLab. Keep watching to be aware of the main differences between these code hosting platforms. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. Software development projects are based on teamwork. All members should freely access code written by their colleagues. It is possible with services such as GitHub and GitLab that allow documenting changes in code and uploading new versions. Both these systems rely on Git. In a nutshell, Git is a system that stores code, tracks its changes in real time, and synchronizes updates on local and cloud repositories. It's not a particular service, rather a technology. If we take Git and GitHub, for example, GitHub is a service that uses Git, but other services can use Git as well. So what's GitHub? It is the largest Git-based version control platform. Now it hosts more than 38 million projects, and it is most commonly used by open source communities. By the way, we have prepared a guide on how to work with GitHub. The link is in the description. What's GitLab? Well, GitLab was founded in 2011 as an alternative to GitHub. Recently, teams have been actively switching to GitLab, particularly due to GitLab's seamless support of CI Pipeline and Docker. Let's take a look at the features of the two platforms. The major functionality of GitHub is repository branching and forking, pull and merge requests, and code base cloning. GitHub also has wiki support, which is a built-in tool for making and sharing version documentation. Moving on to GitLab's functionality. GitLab is known for its excellent interface and functionality. In particular, the major difference between GitLab and GitHub is extensive DevOps and CI CD free functionality. However, accessing main functionality and performing fast pushes and merges can be a struggle. Actually, GitHub and GitLab have similar functionality in issue tracking, automatically sending bug reports and user feedback. However, GitLab offers detailed documentation on how to import your data from other vendors, while GitHub doesn't provide much information. Also, export features are more restrictive in GitHub than in GitLab. Let's compare GitHub and GitLab interfaces. In a summary of each platform interface, we define that GitHub interface has a lot of guides and tutorials. Basic functionality can be accessed quickly. Everything's minimalistic and easy to understand. GitLab has a very well-organized interface, but it still lacks interface guides and tutorials. Let's compare GitHub and GitLab visually. You see the GitHub user dashboard, and here is the GitLab user dashboard. Branches in GitHub look the following way, and now you see branches in GitLab. Viewing commits and committing code in GitHub looks as following. And here you see viewing commits and committing code in GitLab. What are your thoughts after comparing them? Share them in the comments. Now we'll consider the popularity and growth. GitHub statistics say that, currently, GitHub is used by 40 million users, according to the data released in January 2020. It is the biggest code repository. And according to Google Trends, the popularity of GitHub has been fairly consistent over the last two years. According to GitLab's case study page, the tool is used by Drupal, Ticketmaster, BI Worldwide, and other enterprises. And according to some sources, the service is used by 200,000 to 500,000 organizations and developers. As a summary for this video, we can say that the main difference between GitHub and GitLab rests in their philosophy. GitHub is more focused on high availability and infrastructure performance, while GitLab is focused on providing more features for a complete DevOps process. And which of them would you prefer? Share your thoughts under the video. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box.
Thank you for watching this video. We share the experience of using the code hosting platforms. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.